And good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Rob Ellis here in the First Alert Weather Center. I want to alert you to what's going on with our forecast because we do have, and I'll step out of the way so that you can see, we do have the possibility for severe storms, including a high risk of severe weather, mainly west of Chicago. It is not very often that we see this level five on a scale of one to five uh, that is issued for the western parts now of Illinois, including uh, Iowa and parts of Missouri. But the areas that are slightly less than that, which are still pretty impressive, numerous to widespread severe thunderstorms, storms are expected even in Chicago today and the time frame is going to come in the form of two waves of storms. So let's talk about the threat that we are going to be seeing with these storms. Wind damage is our highest threat and some of the gusts could be at times over 75 miles per hour with some of the storms and you can see that the area that had the pink shading uh, for the overall severe threat for the wind damage threat it really extends across much of Illinois and into parts of Indiana and really includes Chicago as well. In fact if you notice on these graphics there is a a hashed mark shading uh, that is included and that's where we could see those gusts up over 75 to 80 miles per hour. That does include Chicago, including uh, even the, the uh, downtown area. So watch for that. There is a tornado threat as well. And when I outline the tornado threat, that is really where the Storm Prediction Center has bullseyed that high risk of severe weather. But because those storms are going to be traveling east, we do expect that threat to continue to spill over into parts of Chicago land. It also includes this hashed mark area and that that denotes on this graphic that we could see strong tornadoes, EF2 or higher, uh, and the possibility of long-lived tornadoes, tornadoes that are on the ground uh, for quite a while. This means business, and some of those will spill over into Chicagoland as we get into the afternoon. There is a hail threat as well, and some of the hail could be on the larger side. We're talking baseball size hail. Again, the threat is farther west, but we'll see the spillover as the afternoon wears on. So let's talk about how this will unfold. First of all, it's going to be two rounds and there'll be fast moving storms. The storms could be moving at 60 miles per hour uh, in two rounds. The first round will likely be more cellular in nature. That one's going to arrive between three and six. And I'll show you a future cast here in just a moment. The second round will likely arrive between seven and nine. And this will be a line of storms that races across the entire area. That will likely contain some gusts over 70 miles per hour and the possibility of tornadoes within both of those lines. But the first line has the better chance, I think, uh, to deal with tornadoes. This will likely happen, start to develop after three o'clock. Here's your future cast. The big question I have is, will these supercellular thunderstorms begin to develop, especially into the uh, mid to late afternoon time frame? This is where we could see some of those tornadoes on the ground mainly to our west, but how much of that is going to travel to the east? The lake is not going to keep us on the cooler side because the winds are out of the south and west and it's blowing right off of the lake. The lake will have no influence today and the temperatures are already on the milder side. We may get a break between maybe 530 and 715 or so, but very quickly the second line, the second round will sweep across the area from north to south. Uh, we'll see that line, but it will sweep from west to east between 7 and 9 o'clock, likely arriving in Chicago. The western suburb is by 8, moving through Chicago about 8.30 and into northwest Indiana by about 9 o'clock. Clouds have been with us for a good portion of the day, but there have been some breaks in the clouds to see some sunshine and look what it's done to our temperatures. These numbers into the mid to upper 60s, even a 70 degree reading, are higher than forecast. It's one of the reasons why potentially we may see that increase in that th severe weather threat. The warmer the temperatures, the more surface uh, energy you have, although this is a more upper level based energy, the surface uh, energy certainly helps. And look where the temperatures are into the 70s. That's where that uh, bullseye was for severe weather. There are already some warnings that have started to kick off, mainly severe thunderstorm warnings, but there were a couple of tornado warnings a bit earlier, thankfully. No tornado warnings at this time, but the system is just getting underway. We are just seeing this evolve and even after the system passes, it's still going to be windy. We could see some gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour even through Saturday morning. Once the severe threat is gone, the wind damage threat will continue and unfortunately we may have to wrap this up with gusty winds and even the possibility of some rain and snow mix as the temperatures on Saturday, despite being near 70 today, will only be near 40 for tomorrow. Then it's back into the 60s. We may have another round of severe storms that happens sometime around midweek or so. Keeping you in alert mode all the way through Saturday early morning because of those gusty winds and uh, those severe storms wrapping up and then 60s return again. Watch that chance for severe storms sometime Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll deal with that as it gets a little bit closer, but for now let's keep uh, an eye on what's happening to our west for these storms to develop. We'll keep it tuned right here to CBS News Chicago. As soon as severe storms are uh, impending upon the area, we will be here live covering those. I'm expecting between about 2:30 and 3:30. We'll start to see the first cells begin to impact.
impact our area. Keep it tuned right here.